Hello everybody. Uh, if you have a Radio Master TX16S and you broke some switches like me, you can see this one works, but there's no switch here. As you can see, I dropped it and they broke. So let's let's fix them. Okay, so this is what you'll need. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a 2.5 millimeter hex screwdriver and the switches themselves and they come in this uh, box with the connector or you can buy just the just the switch and solder it on but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna just connect it and show you how to do that and on the on the here on the label it says SCSD that means it is this these two these two switches because they come in pairs uh, you can buy these two these two these two and these two switches S S G and S H S F and S C -E, S A and S B and S C and S D. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, so first take your two and a half millimeter uh, hex driver and take out these two screws. Okay, next you're gonna want to flip it over like that. Take this out. And I have four screws here, 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 and here, which are Phillips head. Okay, now you remove this thing, just peel it off. Like so. And it should come apart like this. But take out the battery first. Okay, now you can disconnect this or you can leave it in, doesn't matter. The switches we need to replace are these two. I've already taken these two out. And we need to take these two out and they connect to the first ones here. If you're taking these two out, switches H and G, then you need to take this one out. See, it says here H, G. And here it says CD, that's for that's what the ones we're gonna be taking out, okay? Okay, there are two Phillips heads in here that you need to take out with your screwdriver to take this part out. Okay, now lift that up, put it aside. Now we need to unscrew this part, which you just use your fingers or a uh, or some pliers. I'm gonna use my fingers. Nope, I need some pliers. Wait. Also, you can use this tool. This tool is not necessary. You can use some pliers, but this tool is useful for taking out the switches. Now we're gonna need to remove the gimbal itself to get in to get these out because these won't come out if we don't remove the gimbal. This this thing. So let's get our Phillips head and remove these four screws. Okay, now I can lift the gimbal out, making sure not to damage it. Okay. Now I can move this out of the way, and now we can take these switches out. We just need to unscrew them first. Okay, now I'll plug it. And throw it away or something. Okay, so now if you by any chance got uh, defective ones like this that have extra plastic sticking out that shouldn't be sticking out from here you can see the line here that's extra plastic and that shouldn't be sticking out you're gonna have to take some pliers and do this at your own risk 
and pry that off. I'm gonna do that now and get back to you. Okay, so now they're looking good. I pried out the plastic, now put them in like so. With the longer one at the right. And put back the old switch. With the longer one closer to you. And put the nuts back on here and on the front and then you're basically done you just have to reassemble everything okay and i have that back on there so we just need to put the gimbal back in like this okay i just need to put the gimbal screws in okay and don't forget to put this thing back in this slider it goes on by these two screws okay now just do that for the other side and I'll see you when I'm done so if you've done everything correctly it should look a little something like this okay and to check if your radio works put all the switches down and turn it on Now, if you release the switches, there we go. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, share it with a friend, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you want to see how to fix the throttle, both mechanically and software in beta flight, I'll have a video on that too. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thanks for watching.